Welcome everybody, Bennett Brothers Shop, Parker and Gary Bennett, Tractor Whisper. Today we're going to install our P-Pump and we're going to time our engine. We've, we've timed our P-Pump at 18 and a half degrees already. We're going to put two more degrees into the gear when we put it on here. 18 and a half as far as I could time it related to the slot and the flag. That's as far as it would let me go. So I'm going to put two more degrees in here. Our total timing on this engine will be at 21 degrees. When we're done, we'll do 20, and actually two and a half degrees on the crankshaft pulley. And we're going to use the thin shims to set our nozzles deeper. Looking forward to showing you that and how that's done. And we'll get in front of this engine button done. Okay, everybody, we got our pointer fabricated. We got our magnetic uh, degree wheel stuck onto our front crankshaft pulley here. We're gonna do this with the cover off and it'll be a whole lot easier for you guys to see and also it's easier for us to do. So, um, I'm gonna show it, I'll move the camera around so you can see it. That's the view I have. It's right dead on zero, uh, the pointer. And we're gonna actually try to take that two and a half degrees. And then I wanna show you on the back side back here, a couple of things you wanna, you wanna make sure you got this bracket on the motor. We leave it loose, we get our bolt started, this supports the back of the P-pump. Without this bracket, it'll break your timing cover. So we're gonna also, right now, our pin is indexed into the cam gear. The motor's setting on top dead center as it sets. We're gonna install the P-pump, that'll be our next move. Also, this line right here, it's important that you have it on and tight and the, the fitting that goes here, we're gonna, we already have it tightened up on our P-pump and indexed correctly, the line up here. But this fitting here is much easier to get to now. This fitting here is the oil supply for the vacuum pump. Uh, this is ready to go, and also the fitting on the back side of the P-Pump is very hard to get to. That's why that line, the new line's already on the P-Pump. So the next step we'll do will be installing the P-Pump. All right, here we go. So here's our pump. I'm do some lift. Well, this thing's heavy. It is heavy. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Also, there's an O-ring. Here, too. That's that right in the front. Make sure you have that lubricated. They're a little stiff to pop in here, but that's good. That keeps them all tight. So we got also, that. right here, here's that line. It's already tight and indexed. Correct. Um, it's just good to replace these. Top bolts are hard to get to.
this one. Go down here and tighten these. Mm -hmm. There it is. Alrighty. Hold that. I need my hose up here. I'll show you now. Let's see under here. My hose, all I gotta do is get it right up on there, get it connected. Okay. Right there, there we go. Right there, right there. Okay, so right now we have the motor pin. Yeah, I can show you that too, actually. Right. Our pump is flagged. We're going to leave the pump flagged for now. And that's flagged right there. Lock the pump. And the pump, we've already set it at, we've set it at 18 degrees. Total timing. But this slot, that's as far as we can get the slot to slide down without disassembling the pump. Uh, so we're good leaving that at 18 degrees and we're going to put two and a half degrees here. So we'll wind up with a total of 21 degrees total advance. The, oh, the motor rotates clockwise. So we're going to pull the pin out of our cam gear now and we're going to rotate the motor counterclockwise so we can rotate it into, and there's our pin, it's out. We just pulled it completely out so you can see that it's out. Uh, so now then, we'll take this bar, we'll bar the motor over counterclockwise. Which is plenty. So, what we'll do is, if you'll go there, and, we'll take it back. and we're going to take it back to two and a half degrees before we get to zero. Turn it real slow. That way we've taken up all the gear slack that we've got. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, a little bit. You're at six. Hole oh, right there. That's two and a half right there. How about that? That's two and a half degrees. So now we're ready to put our gear onto our P pump. And one of the things we want to do, Parker's going to go get the gear, and I'm going to go get. Uh, a rag with some lacquer thinner on it so I can clean this up really well. You also have to clean the inside of this gear very well too. If you clean that, not this, you're not doing anything. This tapered shaft, our, and remember our pump is still flagged so it won't rotate. I'm taking our lock washer off and our, and our nut. And I'm going to take lacquer thinner and I'm going to clean this really well. See that oil? I'm going to go to another spot. Don't use, a lot of brake cleans have a substance in them that leaves a film. And they, if, if you notice, if you bought brake cleaner lately, they also have a kind of a funny smell to them. That smell has some 
You wouldn't think anything trying to clean a brake product could have any ability to lube, but it just doesn't dry as fast as lack of thinner or acetone to clean these shafts. Uh, so Parker is doing the same thing to the inside taper of the, the gear while I'm cleaning this shaft. And now we'll be able to line our marks up that we have. Push the gear up on the taper. So we'll be able to place this gear on and it'll give us an additional two and a half degrees of timing. So we'll have 21 degrees total. Not you good. This is awesome. Do you see, is there a mark? Mm -hmm. Turn it over. Yeah, right there, see that little mark. Where? Oh yeah, the old mark. Yeah, I mean, we don't have to, but it doesn't hurt. And I say that's the old mark. Let me look at it. Yes, this tooth and that tooth. So you want that to be below it. I got it. Line it up. Oh. You happy with that? I am. Put a lot washer on there. We'll put this on there. And now there's a preliminary torque that you can torque these two. This gear is going to try to rotate down. Yeah. Um, Before we do that, I should take this key out. And I'm fine with you doing that now. Let's get the nut, the socket that fits that right quick. Let me get a let me get a big screwdriver now. I got this big screw over here. I can hold it. You got the flag out. I don't. Go ahead and take it out. Yeah, the pump should rotate with this at this point. You can take it a little bit more. The 25 foot pounds is where they said to take it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. It's picking up the slack right now. All right, that's 25 foot pounds. All right, we got him back here. He's holding the motor, keep it from barring over. Keep doing that so when these gears try to turn, that uh, I can put torque on it. I'm going to torque this nut. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Got my torque wrench here, it's already set. Just That's it. One more time. Okay, all right. Turn it clockwise till I say stop. Real slow, it's on like four degrees. Easy, easy. Little, oh, too much. Back it up and we'll come at it again. Okay. Come down. You're at 18 right now. 15, 10, 9, 4. Just half a degree if you can. Okay, right there. See how your flag fits in there right now. Right in. All right, now one other test that we'll do. Pull the flag out of the pump. We'll take the cam gear and you'll put Put a little pressure on it, the pin, cam pin, and it in. should go. It should fall in at zero. That's right. So I'll 
You want me to move the camera around dead center? It's okay. So it's not in right now. It's not in. So I'm going to turn it ever so slightly. Oh, easy. I don't want to break it. Oh, that's it. We're dead on zero. Dead on zero. So, we have our 21 degrees total timing in. Alright, now we got the pump in. I'm going to show you here. When we time this pump, we use this aluminum uh, flag holder. And the reason we use it is it's a lot more precise than the plastic one. If you look at them, you see the gap is a lot more precise here. But uh, we're not going to leave this in there because we can use this multiple times. We're going to put the original one back in there. Now we have the pump where we want it. We'll take our cap. Here's our cap. And stick it right back in there like that. We're just going to tighten it right on back down. Okay, that'll conclude our P-Pump install. Gear zone, we've calibrated. We added a two and a half degrees of timing in the gear. With the 18 degrees, we had already set the pump up with. Gives a total timing of 21 degrees, and that was our goal. Uh, we made sure we had our bracket on, support the back of the pump. So that's got it. We're ready to button up the front of the engine now, so that the P-Pump has been modified, the AFC has been modified, it's been timed correctly, we're happy with it, and we're well on our way uh, to button this engine up. Also, our oil lines and fittings have been replaced on the back of the, the to oil the pump and the, the P-Pump as well as the vacuum pump. So that's it. Look forward to the next one.